Across the centuries. Across the globe. Ordinary people who follow an extraordinary God. Hear the stories of how God changed people like you and me, and through them, changed the world. They are Game Changers. Hello and welcome to today's All Age. Today we are thinking about mums. Here are some reasons that we love our mums. I'll start us off. I love my mum because she's always there for me and she gives the best cuddles. I love my mum because she's always looked after me and she always has time for me. I love my mum because when I fall over she always picks me up. My mum was just great. She always used to let me um, scrape the bowl out after we had been baking. I did love her for that. I love my mummy because she takes me on really special occasions like doing a hiking trip or going to the circus. I love my mum because she's always there for me, no matter what. I love my mum because she gives me beautiful hugs. One thing I love about my mum is that she's incredibly caring and loves looking out for people. I love my mum because she cares for us and she makes food for us and... I love my mum because she's a warrior. I love my mum because she always gives me a kiss. I love my mum because she is kind, caring, she cares for us and helps us with... Uh, any bad situations that we might be in. I love my mum because she's taught me lots of really useful things. Mummy, because she buys me lots of Lego and helps me build the structure. I love my mummy because she's always there for me and she loves me no matter what. Wow, there are many special things about mums, aren't there? Well, I'm going to tell us today about a really special mum who really loved her children. So this lady's name was Susanna Wesley and she came from a very big family. She, was, she had 24 brothers and sisters. Can you imagine the queue for the bathroom in that house? Even in her busy house, she had a best friend and his name was Jesus. When she grew up, she got married and she had 19 children of her own. That must have been very busy. But even in her busyness, she taught her children. She taught them to read and write, even the girls, though at that time, girls didn't normally get an education. She didn't just teach them that though. She taught them about Jesus. She read the Bible with them. She prayed with them and for them. And she encouraged them to tell their friends about Jesus too. When her children grew up, two of her sons spent their lives telling people about Jesus. Charles, went on to become Charles Wesley, who wrote 6,500 songs, some of which we still sing today. Love Divine or Love Excelling, and one of the favorite Christmas carols, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And one of her other sons, John, he was one of the founders of Methodism. Well, what an encouragement and a challenge. But don't be downcast, we all fail. But let's try and think of how, in whatever stage of life we're at, child, parent, grandparent, auntie, uncle, friend, how we can teach children about Jesus in what we do and how we live our lives. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 says this, Start children off in the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. <laughs> 